so what is complete blood count why this count is done uh, how this procedure is performed how to prepare for complete blood count is there any risk in this test what is reference range of the values that you are uh, being provided with the report and what are the interpretation that means uh, what happens in case of low hemoglobin or what are the causes of high WBC count or low WBC count I will be covering all these points in this discussion today hello viewers welcome to another blog I'm dr. Joydev and welcome to my youtube channel today's topic is complete blood count now what is complete blood count before going into the topic let's understand what is blood blood is a liquid connective tissue of our body and it is essential for normal functioning of all the organ and systems in our body this blood is comprised of a liquid portion that is known as plasma and another cellular portion that is known as blood corpuscles and there are principally three types of blood corpuscles the first one that is red blood corpuscle or rbc this red blood corpuscle or rbc it contains a protein within it and this protein is hemoglobin hemoglobin is concerned with the transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide in our body so this rbc has the principal function of transporting oxygen and carbon dioxide within our body now coming to the second corpuscle that is known as wbc this wbc or white blood corpuscle this cell this is very much important for the normal immune function of our body that means if some bacteria parasite fungus that enters our body and this cell it will help us to protect ourselves from these harmful organisms so this uh, WBC is also important for our body the next particle that is known as platelet these particles are tiny particles but they have immense function within our body suppose if you have a cut on your body and there is bleeding from that cut injury so what happens here the platelets within the body that comes into this area and they will form a plug that is known as primary hemostatic plug and it will slow down the process of bleeding and later on there is the process called as coagulation and that coagulation will make this primary hemostatic plug a former one or a solid one so that will cease if there is any bleeding so this tiny but very important particle for our body that is known as platelet also we have an idea about this platelet from the complete blood count so complete blood count gives us an idea about rbc or red blood corpuscle wbc or white blood corpuscle and the platelets also there is a term called hematocrit hematocrit is the ratio of plasma to cellular components of blood and that is also important in various disease processes so let's come to the indication of doing a cbc now the first indication that is the routine checkup in routine checkup this is the most common test that doctors usually prescribe and this test gives us idea about the disease process within our body and this test can help to diagnose a lot of conditions so the first indication that is the routine checkup now the next indication that is infection 
suppose there is an infection in your body i already have told you that wbcs they uh, actually fight against those foreign invaders within our body and uh, also they protect us so if there is any infection in our body so the number of wbc will go up so from cbc if we find that there is an increased number of wbc so it may indicate any infection so the next indication for doing a complete blood count that is infection the third indication that is anemia anemia means there is low rbc or hemoglobin if there is low rbc or hemoglobin that may be due to a lot of cause but if there is a drop in rbc if there is uh, any features related to low hemoglobin then we ordered cbc to look for anemia if there is any anemia and also we have an idea about the type of anemia that may be uh, behind that uh, the manifestation also there are some immune disorders immune disorders are those diseases which uh, in case of there is dysregulation of the immune system and sometimes uh, this dysregulation of immune system that may act against your own body and that can cause harm to a lot of organs so in case of also if there is any suspicion of any immune disorder we can order a uh, cbc or complete blood count now next condition is leukemia leukemia means le blood cancers in case of leukemia there is rapid proliferation of the red blood uh, sorry the blood corpuscles usually there is proliferation of the white blood cells and uh, to diagnose that condition we can also uh, pre pre prescribe complete blood count and in case of leukemia we have to perform a panel of tests also there are some advanced tests but initially this complete blood count that gives an excellent idea about the presence of leukemia now how this procedure is performed so the in case of complete blood count we have to take out a small amount of blood for that uh, the laboratory technician he will be collecting blood from your usually from the anticubital fossa that means the anterior part of your elbow uh, he will clean that area with alcohol swab and uh, with the help of a syringe and needle he will be taking a small amount of blood approximate 2 to 3 ml blood and this procedure usually takes less than 5 minute and there is a mild pain mild mild very mild amount of pain is there any preparation for this testing yeah, is fasting is required for this testing the answer is no but if you are you have been advised to do cbc along with some other tests like fasting blood sugar uh, lipid profile or liver function test if you are doing all these tests together then the morning sample should be collected and uh, you have to maintain a fasting but if you are doing a cbc if you are doing a cbc only then there, no fasting is required you can give your sample at any point of time so if you are doing cbc along with some other tests if fasting is required for those tests then you have to maintain a fasting state fasting means usually six to eight hours of fasting after taking dinner you will not be taking any other foods and in the morning when you wake up you will be giving the sample for blood tests so if you are doing cbc only then no fasting is required you can give sample at any point of time now let's have an idea what is the reference range when if you are uh, suppose if you are uh, doing cbc test at the end of test you will be given a result and in that result uh, suppose you are measuring hemoglobin okay so 
you will be giving a value such as 11, 11.5, 12 or 13.5, whatever. And at the right hand side, you will be given a range, a value. And that range of value that is known as the reference range, it is the normal range of hemoglobin value in a healthy individual. So, if your value is written 10 hemoglobin and the reference range that is given there that is from 13 to 15.5 then you are having low hemoglobin. If your value is 17.5 and the reference range that is given that is 13 to 15.5 then you are having a high hemoglobin. So you have to interpret your value with the help of the reference range. Now, is there any risk for CBC test? Uh, there, uh, the answer is uh, very, very, in very few cases, there may be presence of hematoma if there is extra vasation of blood in the surrounding tissue. So, that may cause blackening of skins, mild swelling, mild pain. But this is not a serious condition. Usually, with the passage of time those swelling or the discoloration that will pass away okay but there may be mild pain and this procedure is very safe procedure there is very less amount of risk in this procedure now coming to the results interpretation now first coming to the hemoglobin value if we get that the hemoglobin value is low so there is anemia is this anemia may be due to a lot of other causes the most common causes are iron deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, folate deficiency or it may be due to thalassemia or it may be due to some autoimmune hemolytic anemia, a lot of other conditions. If the hemoglobin value is high, it, usually it is normally seen in people living in higher altitudes. Also in case of smoker, the hemoglobin value may be high. In case of some tumors or cancers of some uh, tissues like kidney, uh, as a secondary response, the hemoglobin may be high and there is a primary uh, cancer of blood uh, that may lead to high hemoglobin that is polycythemia vera. Now coming to the WBC count. When the WBC count is low, the, when the WBC count is low, it is known as leukopenia. It is usually seen uh, most commonly after some viral infections. It may be due to uh, some drugs. It may also be due to some bone marrow abnormality like bone marrow uh, some bone marrow infiltration by some cancer or it may be due to uh, some blood cancer also wbc count may be high most commonly uh, the high wbc count is seen after infection as a result of uh, immune activation this the number of wbc that rises and that helps us to fight against organisms most common is infection it may be due to uh, some other inflammatory diseases also. It may be due to, uh, uh, due to some trauma or after surgery. Also, in case of leukemia, the WBC count may be high. When the WBC count is low, uh, low, it may be due to, I already I have told you, some uh, taking some drugs or post-viral fever. Or it may be due to some autoimmune diseases or a blood cancer. When the platelet count is low, it is known as thrombocytopenia thrombocytopenia is usually seen uh, post uh, some viral infections it may be due to autoimmune thrombocytopenia in case of pregnancy this uh, thrombocyte uh, or the platelet count may get low it may be uh, due to some taking some medications or drugs so there are a lot, lot of causes sometimes the platelet count uh, may be low due to some blood cancers when the platelet count is high usually uh, uh, after any hemorrhage or blood loss it may be high during pregnancy it can also rise uh, 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 in case of uh, continued blood loss there may be reactive rise of the platelet uh, also some blood cancers that can also produce a high platelet count so uh, please share your opinion with us uh, if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and also don't forget to press the bell button so that every time i post a video you will get a notification instantly till then take care and stay fit
be healthy thank you